dreams affect the way we live. Our decisions, our mistakes, laughter. I could go on, but you probably have an idea of what I'm getting at. Do you remember when I told you I want us to build a house of our own in Kenya? A house that was built by us? A home that we could share with our son and family? A space that is characterized by you and I? It seems like only yesterday, but you were only a little boy when we broke ground and started construction. I remember ours was the only property in the area at the time. Now we have so many neighbors. Hello and welcome back to our show about the most beautiful properties in East Africa. Today we're in Nairobi and I'm particularly excited to show you this house. It is quite different to what we normally show you. It has a lot of character. It has uh, really the story of the owner behind it. And uh, they very kindly allowed us to, to film here today. And um, so follow me inside. So as we enter, you can see already see these beautiful flowers with this wooden deck um, that leads to the main entrance door. Um, I mean, you'll see a few more pictures of the garden in the back as well as we get there. But isn't that absolutely stunning? So as we enter the house, we are in this little porch area where you can just, um, you know, take off your jacket, take off cl uh, dirty clothes on a day that's not as beautiful as it is today in Nairobi. And then we're entering this big um, entrance hall. And when I say hall, this time I really mean it. I, uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but this ceiling is really high. Like really high. I would say probably eight meters or something. And that continues throughout the house. And I don't know if you can hear it with the sound, but it even gives you a bit of an echo. So fantastic house. Uh, fantastic entrance. What we have here is cement on the floor. It's a very traditional building style, uh, even more so actually on the coast. For those of you that know the um, the Kenyan coast, the, the Tanzanian coast, that's a very typical building style. However, here they used a bit of color to mix it into the cement to create this more brownish color, which I really like. I think as we start, um, let me take you kind of this way first to show you the kitchen and Again the kitchen if you look up, I mean as many of you have probably guessed I'm from Europe and uh, this is a very uh, Looks a lot like home for me um, this traditional building style with the exposed wooden um, Structures is super nice. I, I really like it and uh, the space in this kitchen again is really big i mean you have meters and meters of countertop space you have a uh, storage area everywhere it's all wood all real wood it's not um, this kind of laminated wood and a big dining table in here this i guess is what you would call more of a breakfast table because we'll actually show you the dining room in a second but I think, um, yeah, this is already uh, very nice, very big. What you'll see, see throughout the house is a lot of antiques and um, many of them are from the region, others have been imported, but you can see um, it's very tastefully assorted and gives the house this unique character that it has. So just very briefly out here is the laundry area, outdoor kitchen. So you have your washing machine, you have an extra fridge um, placed yeah, for more washing. So nothing particularly interesting to talk to you about hidden here. And we will go on to the living room, dining room. But as we go there, let me just point out the uh, pantry area again. I mean, I always point out big pantry areas because I think it's important, but this one um, takes big and pantry to a whole new level. I mean, this we have seen, and I'm not kidding you, we have seen apartments with bedrooms smaller than this. So if you like to store a lot of stuff, uh, you can do so here. Also, very difficult to see, but there's a massive storage space up there um, below the ceiling. So. I'm not going to show you that because it's an empty storage space. So now follow me into the main 
area of the house that you would see as a guest. So this is a combined living and dining room. And when I said, you know, the other one is just a small kitchen uh, breakfast table, look at this one. This is the main dining table. And if you're wondering why it has this, this you know, quite unique features and these small holes in there, this table is made of dow wood. Dows are um, boats on the, on the Swahili coast in Tanzania, typical fisher boats. And um, so of these old boats, they built this table. It's massive, like it's <laughs> super heavy. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the stands, but it's crazy. Then another thing that I want to point out here is um, this bar. It's unfortunately not stocked at the moment, but still very pretty, very unique with this metal work and uh, the wooden trays in there. So I have not mentioned that yet, but this house is available for rent. And if you're renting it, it will come furnished as you see it today. So that's why I will put a bit of uh, focus as well on the furniture in here, because maybe one of you will eventually uh, live here. And if you do and you've stocked the bar, please invite us over for a drink, because once you see the porch, you'll understand why. Um, so talking about furniture, this is from Europe. It's 200 years old cabinet that um, is very nicely pointed out here um, you have flowers it's just been valentine's day actually yesterday as we're filming this um, and that separates the living and the dining area so now we come into the living area that has these really nice very comfortable indeed couches and um, coffee table so if you're wondering what this water is for, that is the owner who has very kindly provided us with some. Um, in the corner over there, you have a TV. It almost feels like something that doesn't belong in here because this house has just so much tradition and these very unique walls and um, all these antiques. But I think they, they picked a nice one. It's it, not very intrusive, and yet it's very big. Um, maybe let me also point out the fireplace. As those of you who live in Nairobi or you have been to Nairobi know, it can get quite cold here in the evenings. So you have a very big fireplace with um, this mesh around it, which is important because there's a wooden floor, Movula wooden floor, um, all over this uh, living and dining room. And there is another wooden block I would even call it uh, up here as kind of the, the centerpiece of, of the uh, fireplace the owner told us a very funny story about it when they bought it it was somewhere up country and they bought it and put it in the car and they got stopped by the police and they gave them some real trouble because they thought it was a coffin <laughs> because it's so big it's 25 by 25 centimeters so um, and then I don't know 150 long so really quite remarkable i'd say i think from here let's go outside uh, you see there's a lot of windows in here as well it's very bright um with this uh, the owner picked these curtains specifically to have them in uh, this white color so that um, everything remains bright in here and i think i'll let you out first so that you don't run into the curtain as I follow you onto the patio area and this I think is where you really want to spend a lot of your time um, you can see it's the same kind of Dow wood uh, table I would say it's even a bit bigger and then metal chairs in this blue color which I think uh, fits really nicely especially since all the other colors are quite subtle with the uh, white here and the gray or the brown brownish stones and um, yeah a bed a day lounger where you can uh, even put a mosquito nest around as uh, many of you will know this, this this style is again very particular for the region here um, and you find a lot of this uh, these kind of beds in the high-end hotels at the coast 
so uh, you can have that in your own home so maybe just a quick look from the garden at the house to to show you the beauty um, if you are so far interested in renting this house and um, are worried about the uptake of the garden don't worry if you rent this house the owner will provide a gardener to take care of all these beautiful plants around here and uh, yeah i mean have a look who would not want to live in a house like this it is so pretty it's so well appointed um again the flowers as i said the the lawn it's just very nice you have a, a board well um, it's functional that supplies water for the house it's locked so not much to see and then over here you have another porch area or patio with a big umbrella currently there's no furniture out here because um, the weather this last week in Nairobi has not been very good at all but yeah picture yourself sitting here having your sundanas having dinner with your friends have a uh, barbecue it's a beautiful place yeah this view i mean look at it so nice um you also saw in the front of the house uh, that um, is quite big there's plenty of parking there's the garden and I don't really know if you can hear it with the sound but you hear the birds you hear the trees so you don't have any traffic noise here it is so nice all right back inside come in um, again minor small details such as this uh, candle holder it's from London it's imported it's also antique um, you find these small details throughout the house just very quickly you have a guest bathroom over here um, we'll show you some b-roll of that because there's enough space if I go in there too and then we enter into the first bedroom and this bedroom is currently laid out with two beds again traditional style here's what I mentioned outside but you can very easily hang a mosquito net on top of that um, you again have these very big windows and they actually have bars around them so you can leave them open and be safe um, so everything in that is uh, for that is custom made and really underlines the traditional style of this house then you have a few a bit of seating arrangement again antique um, wardrobes this also is from Daos so this is where you hang your jacket again very traditional uh, antique and before we go to the master bathroom uh, bedroom and the other ones maybe just take in the design of the staircase you have clay bricks on the wall which again makes it super nice Seeing with the visual uh, wooden bars and all this is pure wood so there's no steel no nothing in this uh, stairs and I really like it up here you have a small desk if you wanted to work just open it like this put your books there put your laptop and you can work or if you do not want to work here you can go into the second um, bedroom which is under the roof as you can see uh, quite big I guess if you can see that on there and it's it's a bedroom so um, you have desks over there sitting arrangement and right here again not much to see but just to point it out is a uh, storage space so for suitcases bulky items really all the stuff that you don't want to have sitting around and ruining your views so as I mentioned uh, we have a, a um, desk over here a sitting arrangement and this bedroom is also ensuite so to get to the bathroom you'll have to follow me through the walk-in closet plenty of closet space and one really cool thing actually that the owner pointed out to me you'd think that this is a mirror but actually it's a little 
hidden chamber where you could hide if you wanted to. Um, you can even lock it from the inside. There's a bolt. So um, kind of a little room to, to hide yourself away for whatever reason you would want to do that. Um, if you don't want to hide away and instead take a shower, you continue going through that. And just to give you a size of not only this bathroom, but you will see it even more in the master bathroom, uh, an idea of the size of it, there's no glass around, no curtains. And the reason why there is none is simply because you don't need it. It is so big, even if you splatter the, uh, splatter the water all over here, it doesn't really matter. So, rainfall shower, um, then you have, of course, a, a toilet and a sink. I really like, by the way, this um, very traditional faucets. This is all solid wood. It is not veneer or laminate or something. It's all very solid wood. And again, the little Dow appliance to hang your towel. The windows are frosted, of course, and so you have your privacy because even in the bathrooms, to, uh, in order to get the light in, the owner opted to put really big windows. As you can probably tell, this is not a house that a developer would build 300 units of and identical units of, but instead it's something very personal and it is actually the owner's design, they've designed it, they've built it and um, yeah, we're very happy that they're letting us film it and we really hope and I personally really hope that maybe one of you will want to rent this place and make it the home because this really deserves someone who appreciates uh, the entire setup. So let me show you the other bedrooms we've seen two so far um, maybe just look probably not many if I look at the uh, analytics of our YouTube channel not many of you will remember uh, what this is this is actually in transistor radio and it works so you just need to put the unplug the antenna and then you can um, have that but before I show you the next uh, bathrooms uh, bedrooms and bathrooms if you like this video so far please consider uh, consider liking it it really helps us a lot if you have questions please put it in the comments and do subscribe to our channel we will show you a lot of properties we have shown if this is your first video um, quite a few so have a look um, at the other videos let us know what you think and um, also if you want us to film anything in particular let us know if you're a developer we're happy to film yours as well and um, well I've talked a lot about our channel. Let's talk about the bedrooms. Look, the sun just came out and it's what, one o'clock? So the sun is pretty much straight up there and still the light is coming into the room through these two big windows and then another one on the side. I'm, I, re I really like it. Um, and you have look out to the greenery and yeah. A king size bed with again this seating arrangement. I feel I removed it. Quite heavy cushion. Oh, and um, you can see that it's again something you would see at the coast a lot at Zanzibar, Mombasa, um, all these places. So for me, this whole house feels it gives a very relaxing vibe. And yeah, um, so again, a bathroom very similar in design to the one up there, same wooden. Um, boards and the, this one is shared by the bathroom we just saw and the one we saw before walking up the stairs. You know it's all quite traditional in here um, yet very important we have a security system so you're always safe and as I mentioned you have the bars. And now the master bedroom and that really is huge. You'll see straight away we have the same Movula floor we have in the living and dining area and then the bed right in the center. Um, I, I, I think it's stunningly beautiful. The same ceiling height as I shown you as I shown you in the entrance hall and in the living and dining area. So super spacious. You have the exposed bricks 
which I really like, especially in combination with the wood. And then direct access to the patio. And I don't know if this is actually open. It is. So then you're back out here. And you can join the brunch that your loving children have prepared for you right there because before without even going through um, the inside space so super nice um, we have uh, vanilla plants here um, yeah and then I think we owe you the master um, bathroom which if you follow me around here actually also imported from uh, from Europe quite old as well and so is this the little vanity you know in the modern apartments that we've shown you it's usually built in into the uh, wardrobe somehow I really like that it's separate here in that um, little nook it's like it's made for that you have a um, massive wardrobe space I'm not gonna open it I think you know what it looks like and if you want to close it it's not a hard door but it's actually something that lets light through um, cool design I really do like it and then we have the master bedroom, uh, bathroom and I said upstairs you'll see even more of the space in here um, you have the rainfall shower again no need for a curtain no need for uh, glass it's there's just more than enough space and you have the toilet you have a, um, a chair to sit on and this really big wooden table for, uh, with the washing basin and the big windows and here you can have the same thing that's over there um, you see the lights are actually suspended and those of you who have watched a lot of our videos know that I like these spotlights because they make a very nice light and I think we can all agree that in here they do that so I hope this video has given you a bit of an overview of this really remarkable property. Um, I'm very grateful that the owner has allowed us to film us uh, to film it here because it's always private if you go into someone's home and not into a sample home. Um, if you like it as well and you're looking for to rent something uh, and you like the style, go for this one. There's not many properties like this on the market, and um, it's yeah, it's stunning. Then I want to thank uh, Eden Heights um, who has linked us up with the owner and um, arranged this whole film shoot and of course our friends from Shot Nerds who have um, uh, filmed this video again and um, also work with Eden Heights so uh, I'll put all their contacts in the description if, if you have any videos to be produced, any um, pictures, any other content reach out to them, they're very great great guys to work with very nice quality and um, yeah uh, I put their socials in the description and show them some love and we will see you next time in the next house